Hello everyone, I am Pyro Falcon, and welcome back to Evil Genius 2. I'm on my 100% run with Polar, and in the last episode we finished some side stories. We've done all of the loot, and we are now working on the Crime Lords. I should say all of the loot available to us for now. And we finished Brunhilde, so we're going to start working on... Sure, let's take it from the bottom up. This guy, whose name I don't... Inferno, I think? One of the tourists has an affinity for cards. He's always flicking a lighter and making people nervous. Find out who he is and what game he's really playing. I've been looking for a place to use my talents. I could make this place the hottest thing around. We'll see. I always check up on the people I hire, Incendio. If that is your real name. Incendio. Didn't think it was as easy to remember as Inferno. Whatever, he sucks. I've never used him in any of my runs. It's not. I will find out who you are and how you managed to be in two places at once. Or to be two people at once. I always found his story to be a little weird. Like, they don't have enough exposition to explain what that meant until later that he's this he has a twin or whatever anyway if this gambler has been anywhere it's macau the rising capital of casinos send a team to learn about your new guest easy let's head to the to the here um where do i need to go where's macau there's macau oh looks like i'm gonna need to juggle my criminal network some more. Tiny, dense Macau holds the current world record for gambling revenue per capita. Send minions to stake out the blackjack and baccarat tables and get the staff talking about anyone who meets the magicians. Description. Why didn't... I probably talked about this before, but I don't... Understand why they didn't design the interface so that this line was about a little lower or maybe the the this was a bit wider. It's just it's so weird. Like every description, every little description here only has a couple extra lines. You could fit that on one screen if you made this a little wider or dropped it a little lower or something. I mean there must have been some reason. I'm no game designer. The gambler is Incendio, known for pulling off a heist that required him to be at two places at once. That was in M Monaco. Maybe someone there remembers him. Okay. Probably have to destroy that again. Monaco. Here, right? Yep. Got that scouted. The incredible Incendio is known for seeming to be in two places at once, both in criminal acts and magical ones. The last time he pulled that trick was in Monte Carlo. In the French Ravi Riviera. Maybe, was that there the whole time? Because that kind of cancels out what I had just said. I guess what's weird about it, to me, is that the way the evil genius starts off by saying, like, I'm going to find out how you're in two places at once. That seems to be sort of out of order, because we didn't know that until now. So... I don't know, it's just weird. It's... it's weird. I would have written that differently. My minions have learned how you manage to be two places at once. You had a partner. He's dead now and I don't want to talk about it. We've all got our pasts. We've all got a little darkness in us. I don't know why Polar looks worried about that. Darkness, you say? You know who I am? Fine, let me show you what I can do. Oh crap, yeah, he sets half our base on fire. Um, alright, hold on a hot minute while I get that reorganized. Alright, Incendio, I didn't even read that. What did that say? Hold on, Incendio wants to show you his talents with a magic show. He can use the stage of the cover operation if you agree to introduce him. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's part. That's the next part. Boop. There you go. Trial performance. Have at it, Incendio. Thank you for showing up to the island quickly. This won't take me very long. He's certainly pulling in an audience. 
That's more people than who usually show up to my Twitch stream, so I'll have to talk to him and find out what his secret is. And there we go. Lying weasel, you said you would make this the hottest place around. And I did. Look at all the attention you're getting. The wrong kind of attention. You will pay for the damage. You will pay for everything. I never pay for anything if I can help it. Not even my drinks. Yeah. Uh -huh. All right. So everything's on fire. Are getting out of control. And capture incendio. All right. Let's get Jubei over here. He'll be able to get through this. Oh, all my crap's burning down. Son of a bitch. None of my minions got there in time. Ah. <sighs> here, come here, Jubei. And I guess I'll rebuild my roulette tables. I guess it wasn't that bad of a loss. I mean, it's not like they burned down too many objects. It's a sad day that Jubei could not capture Incendio by himself. Incendio's down to 60 hit points. Speak your mind. But our boy has been taken down. I guess I could have turned on his flow ability, but I didn't think he'd need it. All right, well, there's not really anything I can do here until someone gets Let's it. Oh, I could. I guess I could bring in Polar. Polar could probably do this herself. Let's see. Yep. She's being hit for quite a bit, all things considered. She's only hitting for five, but he's... He's actually hitting her pretty hard. He's hitting her for 35? 25. And he's hitting her more often. Oh, God. All right, come on, Polar. I mean, kind of. I'll figure it out. Wait. Can she- does she get priority of attack? She does, so I could hit him and then run. Wait for him to arrive. Hit him and then run. This is the dumbest way to capture somebody, but I'm gonna make it work for me. Actually, what's confusing me more than this fight... Why has my stuff not been built yet? Okay, here come the yellow shirts to deal with it. Got it. Actually, not even the yellow shirts. There's a couple scientists? <laughs> what the hell? Do, do I have nobody in the base? Myself? Hold on. We're going to take oh. care of that in just a second. What is it? I'm we'll going to... Oh, God. She can't take another shot. All right. Time to run. Time to get out of here. And Incendio was following her, but changed her mind. Changed his mind. All right, I have 40 minions in the base. All of 40. What the hell? All right, I'm gonna have to trace what the hell is going on here, because uh, we also shouldn't have only 40 people in the base. So something, something weird is happening right now. Wait, was I looking at the the power count instead of the worker count that whole time? <laughs> oh god. You can tell this is the first episode of the recording session. Still doesn't explain why she had so many problems, but let's see if I can Yeah, there we go. Alright, let's let's see if we can do better this time. What I really miss from Evil Genius 1 is a rally command because of situations like this. A scheme has oh, we succeeded. did get him. Okay, so all Jubei needed was his flow ability activated. Anyway, I do miss the rally command where you could just grab a henchman and be like, all of you minions who are near me right now, follow me because there's something important to do. So... That would be one thing I wish they would bring back, but it's not that big of a deal. We can handle it. And anyway, once we have more control over our henchmen, once we have more henchmen, it won't be a problem anymore. I think what I'm going to do, something I did the last time as well, I'm just going to set up a small, just a, just a small hallway just to get a camera over here. 
which still doesn't cover everything, but man, you know what? Let's switch this section to a hallway. Has succeeded. We'll dirt up this wall and then we'll apply a couple cameras, yeah. Because this covers at least the entrance to the base. Like that. That'll cover at least the entrance. I mean, this area is still blind, but I could also expand this hallway out a little bit. And... Oh, here come all the yellow shirts. Yeah, you guys are fine when you have a construction order to do. But... Anyway, regardless, the point is, if we can get a little camera coverage down here, we'll be a lot better off. I would really rather not have a fight occur over here, because we're going to just scare off the tourists and everything's going to get weird. But we need a little bit of a little bit of security just in case something bad happens, you know? Uh, and another good reason to have a hallway bordering my jail cell is this because I have to interrogate him at a freeze ray, which I do not have. So if we... Oh, I don't even have the freeze ray, un freeze ray unlocked yet. Well, guess that becomes our priority. I still cannot believe I mixed up the power count with the minion count. See, a lesser These YouTuber would hide items. that and See, edit around it to try to them. not show how much of an idiot he is to the, his audience. I lean into it, Mainly because we all know how much of an idiot I am, but also I can make a joke about needing more coffee. Hey look, coffee. It's time to give Incendio a chili re reception. <laughs> Looks like I caught up a couple minions in that too. I mean, I'm not sorry. But uh, you know, I should watch where they're walking. Learning a great deal about you. All your tricks are laid bare. I'm learning too. And if you think I won't use what I discovered to take my revenge, you don't know me at all. Did I mention in my other runs that I think he sounds like the same voice actor who does Agent X? I could be mistaken, but they have very similar voices. The only thing you will learn is just how hot it can get for you here. But where there's fire, there's always smoke. Where did he go? He just disappeared? Hmm. I doubt we've seen the last of him. You have driven off this new rival for now. Keep an eye out, though, as they will surely return. All right, next we are chasing the Pyro. Speaking of things getting hot, um, let's join the blue team since Polar is blue and Pyro is can be blue, so we'll join the blue team. What do you know about Australium? It's versatile, it can be adapted, and has a number of incredible effects on the human body. It's pretty much a miracle cure for everything, including poor engineering. <laughs> it's legendary. Builders League United want us to steal some from. They say we can keep the extra. Hmm, that might actually put the boss in a good mood. Eh. Respond immediately. Tell them they can leave it to us. Conflict breeds opportunity, and a long-standing battle between two brothers has presented the finest opportunity. Both are trying to secure a rare material known as Australium. Join one side of the conflict and steal some from yourself. For yourself. Everyone knows the best way to store and transport intel is in a briefcase. A number of them have been spotted across the globe, all guarded by the red team. Recover one. Basically, I mean recover five. Okay. Let's see where that is. We've got a couple... Oh, this is going to attract X. That's all right. A zero smart minion. Is destroying your furniture. What? What do you mean a zero smarts minion is destroying my furniture? What does that mean? I've I've never even heard that before. I I a What? Zero smarts minion is destroying your furniture. Who? 
What? Oh god. Stop that. I want that minion taken in alive. Huh. I've literally never seen that before in any of my runs with Evil Genius 2. I guess I stopped it just in time. So he's so stupid that he didn't know how to watch TV correctly? I mean, there's something amazing and poetic about that. All right, let's get that one. Uh, let's see, where else is Australium? We've got one over here, apparently. I'm trying to do the ones in the regions we already own first, obviously. There we go. Oh, that one's gonna have to kill the, in the heat on that one first. Well, that's why I save up intel. All right, this should not take very long to get these briefcases. So our idiot worker's name is William Trumpet, and at least by putting him in a cage, we've, we're recovering his smarts. I mean, I suppose I could have just murdered him, what with him being a yellow shirt and all, but I suppose I'll be a little kind. What the hell is going on here? Guys, could you murder these the, the people taking pictures of all of our stuff? That'd be great. Oh yeah, there's X too. Wow, he appeared in right next to Polar, so no one had any disguises. Okay, Polar's getting involved in the fight now. Yeah, she's only taking one hit point of damage. Incendio did way more damage than Axe. Yeah, he's he's well he's well contained. I keep going back and forth about the strength of the super what the Oh, okay. Alright. Don't know when you got involved in the situation, but this this is fine. Anyway. Everything myself. I keep going back and forth about the relative strength of the super agents, but X is pretty weak. I used to put him as, like, the second biggest threat, but he's not really that strong. His difficulty is finding him, usually, because he's running around being all Agent x -y. What I really need to do is get the auto tag for this section, and that'll make things a lot easier. Because, as it is right now, if we have investigators just wandering around the base, then no one's going to do anything about it. So, but unfortunately, that research is locked to me for a while. Yeah, I can't do the auto-capture or the auto-kill right now. Because I'm campaign-locked. We'll get there eventually. I could make this an auto-distract. But why? No one should get that deep in the base, and I'd rather have them terminated if they do. Time to find out what's gotten everyone so excited. Let's take the briefcase to the laboratory and see what's inside. Is that? Yeah, that's just a research project. Let's research switch off what we're doing currently and go do that one instead. I just realized, has my loot been stolen? Oh crap, my loot has been stolen. Come here, dickhole. I want find that intruder uh, and kill them. Yeah, where's Polar? I need you for a second cuz I almost missed the We had some stuff stolen. What about my meteor? Oh, he got both. What about my declaration of independence? Okay, that's safe. I think I'm going to have to move my loot somewhere a little deeper in the base because this is not the first time it's been stolen. I'm, you know, I'm actually kind of surprised that Polar isn't triggering a disguise. Let's move her over here. Yeah, so now if someone comes through this door, she's guaranteed to trigger their disguise. Because I don't think there are very many people who are coming through this hallway. Not other than the soldiers and the such. And we can flag everyone to die eventually. I also want to get more power and just line this entire hallway with lasers. Because, you know, lasers. Oh no, Wrecking Ball is on her way. What a scary situation that in no way is 
going to be resolved within about 30 seconds of her showing up. I'm scared. All right, we've got that one. We've managed to get our hands on an enormous bomb. Move it to a safe location to extract the explosives. A large payload is always useful. Is that an item? Escort the... Nope. Escort the payload on the world stage. All right. That mission seems to be in Western Patriot. So we'll get that going. And adjust the scheme over here. Then go back to the base and say hello to Wrecking Bola. Whenever she wants to show up, Wrecking Bola is being very slow. I have no idea where she is. Hi, Wrecking Bola. Wow, we've just got the saboteurs. <laughs> Uh-oh. Something happened. Alright, well, we were escorting them, but, uh... Wow, we're still escorting them. Wait, where's Wrecking Bola herself, then? Is she here? She doesn't seem to be here. Oh, there she is. Alright, come over here, Polar. You too, Jabay. Oh, no, she destroyed one of my doors. Whatever will I do about this situation? Alright, bye, Wrecking Bola. Thanks for visiting. Did you pick up your candy bars the next time? I, I got shit to do here. Your field team are now the proud owners of a payload. Slight problem. It's ticking. Research how to disarm the payload quickly. Yeah, that does sound like a problem. Research has begun. New research has been completed. Your team disarmed the payload with exactly two hours to spare. A close call in the grand scheme of things. Now let's use the explosives to crack open Man Company's Australium Vault. I assume that's from the world stage. Australium Vault is in Western Patriot. Oh, hello, Agent X. Are you ready to come back to my base where you will be completely ineffective? You've recovered a briefcase filled with Australium. What is it with this lot and briefcases crammed full of important items? Place it in your lair to impress the minions. Okay, we don't have enough loot, so I'm okay with that. Let's see. Australium. Let's put it right in front of the conference table. I'll, I should be able to keep track of it pretty easily there. Also, I'm watching... Oh, they're gone now. I had some saboteurs. There's one. I had a saboteur who kept trying to get into the base, but he kept getting shot by our laser walls. Speaking of laser walls... I just flagged Polar to die. Good thing the game didn't let me do that. Okay, guys, could you... You know, kill the intruders, please? Where's X? Oh, there he is. Alright, let's just cleanse the base for a second. Because we don't need him here. Wow, yeah, X. Oh my god, X. Everyone's just lining up to wait their turn. In darkness, but it's not nighttime yet. Whatever. You just I'll figure it out. Oh, something else happened while I was dealing with that. Defeat the red team? Hold on. The red team are none too happy about your recent actions. They've dispatched a mercenary to burn your organization to the ground. Defeat the masked intruder. I mean, I assume I think that's Pyro, if I remember properly. It's been a minute. Let's continue with business as usual until then. What alert do you know? Okay, done. All right, so where is this mysterious the Pyro? Or whoever it may be. Ah, there you are. Okay, so we're going to flag you to die. But... Wait, can I... Okay, so all I can do is flag them to die. Alright. So, I'm just going to wait until the pyro decides to get a bit closer. Because there's no reason to send the... Oh, God, I forgot! We have cameras now! Here come all the soldiers! Hey, Jubei, why don't you come and help out? Because, uh, they're probably going to need some assistance here. Yeah, this is... Okay, but we have guns, which kind of takes away the pyros. Wow, that was easy. 
You're now a fully fledged member of the blue team. Great. <gasps> All that over a briefcase. Two briefcases? And a cart with a disarmed bomb in it? That payload isn't going to explode, is it? I hope not. And that Australium? Oh, that definitely won't explode. It's not even ticking. Haha. -ha. Okay, I... Ah, there's Meet the Pyro. Once you have five henchmen, you won't be able to recruit anymore unless one of yours meets a tragic end. Yeah, yeah, that's... We're, we're, we're gonna do that. The Pyro proved themselves to be a fearsome combatant. Your minions lie awake each night, trembling in fear that one day the Pyro might return. Send someone to recruit the Pyro. Okay. The boss wants us to go out there and recruit the Pyro. You mean the person that attacked us? The person who left a trail of destruction throughout the lair? By which you mean killing like three pointless minions and then dying ignobly? Yeah, yeah, that person. The person who lives in my nightmares as a faceless specter of vengeance and flame, who killed my best friends. The very same. Boss reckons they'd make a good addition to our organization. <laughs> Sounds about right. I wonder if hiring our worst enemies will ever prove to be a bad idea. You're a guard. You're not paid to wander. <sighs> I couldn't tell you. But I do know questioning the boss's decisions almost always is. That's correct. You know what? What, what is it? Where, where are you? Stop. Which? All right. You look like the my guy who was just sassing no me. Come here, asshole. This is what oh, you dear. get for questioning my decisions. <laughs> what do you mean you weren't the one who questioned my decisions? Are you questioning me questioning my decisions? Wait, that didn't make sense. Whatever, it doesn't matter, you're dead. The Pyro has joined your organization. That was harmless. Welcome I mean, easy. Welcome to the organization. Just some basic paperwork for you to fill out before we start orientation. Do you have a name? I see. I'll just put question mark. Job, uh, pyrotechnics, I take it? And that flamethrower... ...is yours. You can keep it. We'll just get more fire extinguishers. That's a good call anyway. All right, wow, we've still got some time. Um, let's start the man with the silver gun. Eli Barracuda Jr. has dared to challenge you. Dig into his sordid past and know your enemy. Oh, look. Another evil genius who thinks the world their chest. I'm not impressed. Man, I wish one of the quality of life patches had increased the volume of his lines. His voice acting is so quiet. I'm gonna have to do a little uh, extra po post-production work to make sure you guys can hear him. I don't need you to be impressed. Merely obedient. Stand aside while I work. Yeah, I don't think so. This is my turf, you hear? You mistake me, Mr. Barracuda. <laughs> your home, your empire, the gun in your hand. I can take it all whenever I want. It is a nice piece, but if you really think you can take it, I did try. Well, we're going to do that, Eli, because you can't stand up to our beautiful sing-songy voice and accent. In order for your plans to proceed, you must steal Eli Barracuda Jr.'s legendary revolver, but we are out of time to do that in this episode. And I'm gonna have to close the window beside me because not only am I freezing to death, but the breeze is so strong the microphone's picking it up. What a weird problem to have doing this show. Thank you all very much for watching. I will see you again tomorrow for another episode.